Good morning. It's Giuseppe on the drama umbrella. I'm back, bitches. Shout out to my engineer, Scissor, aka Eddie Blanco, for hooking me up with all my engineering and recording work and help and all that. All them dumb questions. I gotta call you up at three o'clock in the morning to ask you. So this is gonna be a serious topic. So if you're looking for the bells and whistles today, keep scrolling. It's Monday, the February February the twenty second. I want to talk about and jump right into the topic without bullshitting. I want to talk about um male predators. Male predators. Yes. You. 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 Are sounding very much like yourself. And these activities, you find them to be very familiar with the things that you do. You know what? You might be a male predator. So, it's like... I was watching um, Netflix. Those Netflix movies, man. Some of them Netflix movies just... Yeah, they tug at your heart, yo. They really do. Because you're going to be up bawling late for work. I know you know what I'm talking about. But um, the one that prompted me to come up with the title of this show was the one, I don't know if you're familiar with it, but it's called Goldie. One of those B-movies, you know what I'm saying? It was set in Brooklyn. It's this, you know, tall, athletically shaped um, black girl that's extremely light-skinned. And she's she has, like, orange-yellow hair. Eyebrows, lashes, all that. Like, she's like, I don't know if she dyed it that way or not, but... Basically, a very different kind of look. Caribbean roots. Let that, you know, I, I, I note that as a side note. It really doesn't have a lot to do with anything, but that's a fact. Because I see that her specialty was um, dance hall, dancing, you know, dance hall style music. And she was young, 18. You know what I'm saying? I got a daughter that age. My living crosses, boy. She's young. She's pretty. She hasn't quite finished school. She's not headed to college. She's misguided in her plans of the future. And, you know, at that age, the future is like two hours from the present. They're not, you're not thinking no five-year plan type of thing and all that. Like, you know, it's just the typical story of the young girl let a little bit too loose in a predatory environment. You know, it's Brooklyn. It's the hood in Brooklyn. Danger every six feet you take. She is valued in the household because her younger siblings depend on her a lot. Because her mom, you know, her mom is not in a position to make big differences in her life. She's all end up, she'll end up getting arrested in a movie. And then that's where the trouble starts for Goldie. It prompts me to come up with this show idea. Because I see a lot of things in there that I recognize, that's familiar. And on a street level, I've been on both sides of the coin. I've been the shepherd, and it is something that I stand with, and I am an advocate for shepherding these young sisters to the position of royalty that they all truly deserve every last slagging asshole is a potential great black cleopatra empress i know i fucked up when i said cleopatra jesus christ 
but you know what I'm talking about. You know I smoke weed. You see the young girl's potential. You see that they need help. You see that they're misguided. You see that their mindset and their actions are an underscore of the confusion that they're going through because they feel like they're strong enough to handle things on their own. A lot of us feel like that sometimes when we're absolutely not. You know they're impressionable and young. You know they're susceptible to doing dumb shit, trying bad things, idolizing bad people. You don't teach boundaries. You fuck around and breach boundaries. They are to be empowered. The pursuit should be to be getting them back on track. Men can't give birth. And that's the ultimate most high's gift. That's the most high's ultimate gift. Be prosperous and fruitful. That's part of your, how you'd say, success. That's part of your legacy. Your girl who might turn into your fiance one day. Who might turn into your God willing wife who might turn into your soulmate who you will spend your last dime to die beside when you're old just the pride she has on the position that she's in see a woman that's loved that know that she's loved and care about um when she gets pregnant she walks around or drives around with pride she has a happy face. She's eating. She's smiling. She's laughing. The, the, the pain and tediousness of pregnancy does not overwhelm her in her life. You see what I'm saying? Because she know she got a king's baby in her stomach. And that's the way she sees. That's her perspective of it. And through that, I see women go smoothly through pregnancy. And there's exceptions to everything, too. And deliver the baby happily, safe and sound. And then I've seen times where the girl wasn't sure about anything didn't have the support of the man any at all or just on some halfway shit some careless negligent type of behaviors where they really don't give a rat's ass about what a female goes through when she has a child and I've seen them have to go through their pregnancy in those circumstances walk without the pride of the situation and have a miscarriage have a baby and then something is wrong i've seen it happen i'm not gonna get into it too far but i've seen it how i think you understand what i'm saying take it as you will and i break it down in a very simple way if you understand i'm sure there's uh, way more fabulous ways of articulating that. You are in a position of adoration. She loves you. These kind of broads kind of mostly bump into the corner dude or the lieutenant. Let's say you're the lieutenant with the loud. The loud lieutenant. Eastern Parkway or Troy Ave. Lending, spitting things over the top of my dome. You hustle. You got a little, little 190 out there. Little Ben's 190. I'll even put you in a little three. You probably not M3 level. New York is mad expensive. Like ballers, you having rooms and shit. An apartment is like, woof, woof, woof. You got a lot of things at stake. You got to stay grinding. There's this girl that passes by every day. She probably about 17, 18. 
you in a position of leadership. You in a position of adoration, like I said. You know that because she's misguided, she lusts after your bread. She knows what she's doing. She is like a rapper and a young person. Like, you know, you know the law because that's what's on MTV. So some BET. It's at the forefront of entertainment. Violence, drugs, hustling, the clothes, the jewelry, all that stuff is on these shows that y'all claim are for adults. But you know damn well your target audience is between the ages of 16 and 28. And you know. This is what they idolize. This is what they love. They 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 don't shoot to go to college. That's not glamorized on TV. They're not shooting to have a career. They rather see what they see outside. They rather do what they see outside. That's what success looks like in their eyes. So they adore you. They're attracted to you. They love every friggin' move you make. And you're in a position to either enlighten them or take advantage you play on daddy issues breach their innocence playing on daddy issues she she's very impressionable she sees it all as is no holes barred ain't no rules to it so she'll try anything right because she's young and stupid and she's all on you and if she sees you do it She'll feel like it's okay to her for her to do it. And especially if you offer it to her. Don't give her the goddamn drugs. Teach her how to hustle them shits. If you real. When they come around, you dissing their clothes. You dissing their rides. They not up to par on the gear and they don't have the money for all that, right? But you know what you do? Again, you're not teaching them to boost and get fresh. You're not showing them street strategy on how to change that situation, if nothing else. Because remember, again, on the street level, you're making them feel like shit. That's not good for their self-esteem. All they're going to go do is get themselves into more stupidness based off of your little bullshit. And it's ridiculous the amount of influence you have to whereas... They'll do anything to impress you. So if you diss them, like what 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 does that do for you? How does that help anything? Yo, we gonna pause right here and come back on part two. You heard? Yeah, this is this is this is a long one. Stay tuned. Punching on the next part two. This is Giuseppe. This is the drama umbrella.